mommy. Yeah. Hey guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're, we're here. We're gonna go into Don't chapters. Don't put your clothes down and let's go. I we're gonna know. go get something Check. for someone. I'm The new Harry Potter book is out and we've got avid readers here who love Harry Potter. Mikhail, we're buying this book and everyone can read it, okay? Just so you know. It's not some book you're going to be like, oh my gosh, it's mine. I'm going to keep it forever besides, on my shelf you're gonna be it's collecting done it dust. This afternoon. Okay? Right? Okay. This is a book. It's yes. so hot. Oh it's my hot. gosh. It's hot. It's hot, hot, hot today, guys. We, we didn't think it was going to be this hot today. So... Anyway. Oh, tell them the history. Tell them the mystery. We went to go look at that open house that Aaron had planned in his head. And Yo, this then, house was no, really and nice. And then, I got all dressed up, went, and guess what? No open house. It was no sold. open house. It was already sold, and it was scheduled wrong. And they didn't post that it was sold yet. So our our realtor had no idea that it was already sold. We had no idea. We it had was no sold. idea it was already sold. And but, the the open house was two days ago. Anyways, side note is my parents are coming up to visit this evening. Yeah. yeah, we haven't seen them in a while, so they're coming to visit us. So she's gonna cook some jerk chicken. Uh, we ain't got no jerk chicken at home. Right? Stop, please. I'll we gotta go by the grocery chicken. store though and go see what we can see. So we're not spending very long here. We're at Chapters to go grab this kid her book, and then it's, honestly, this book. should be like five minutes. I'm not yeah, going in there minutes. to five spend minutes. all day. Mommy, okay. you see, yep. I was drawing, Mommy. Five and minutes, guess guys. what, Mom? Follow the leader. Where's Daddy going? <gasps> Look at that girl. What's it that I like? I like the scarf. Well, I, love the scarf. I like her outfit in general. I like the, I like the hat. I like the, the bird feathers. Ooh, and I like this oh, scarf. But I kind of, you have one like that. I know. I know. I was supposed <laughs> to say that. I like that. I'm just a lover of scarves. Of oh, the same scarf that you have at home. <laughs> Actually, well, I wear it before. I want. Oh, I see a sleep mask in it. It's so cool. What? What? What does it say? You can't tell. Purr, purr. It says purr. Yeah, it says purr. I wouldn't get this one. I have a ten, 10 minutes. <laughs> you have one that says ten more minutes? Yeah. And that one says five, five more five minutes. minutes. So what were you gonna do? Switch them? No. Nope. I'm gonna still keep my ten minutes. <laughs> that way you can get us some extra time. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I wanted to do a quick little grocery haul. It's actually nothing significant, but I because I did share with you guys that I want to be on a I'm gonna be on a new healthy eating journey and that my girlfriend's friend created like a meal plan for me and I'm gonna be eating up like paleo style. I want to show you a few of the things that I picked up. Um mind you, remember the things that we're gonna be cutting out are gluten because I'm pretty sure I have a gluten allergy so um, I still need to pick up actually a, quite a few of those things the gluten substitutes like flour um, I gonna be yeah I pretty much need to get, grab a bunch of those but we did I picked up a few simple things that I'm gonna show you that are gonna help this journey go by a little bit easier so I picked up this I picked up this big bag of rain rainbow blend um, and this is for smoothies because you guys know I do have a blend tech so I do like smoothies because they're easy I did find this scrumptious antioxidant blend of it's called nude fruit so that is my first time trying these like and I mean fruit or fruit right but I believe it might be organic so that would be the big difference and then I did pick up the blueberry one because I love blueberries what else did I get Another vital thing that was picked up in that was this PB2, and this is a substitute for peanut butter. Um, I didn't read much on this, but according to it, it says it has 85% less fat, and you actually mix it, I think, with water to get like a paste consistency. So this is very different. I'm definitely gonna try it and see how I like it. It's 85% 80 less fat calories, and it is made up of what? 
what is it? The main ingredients are roasted peanuts, cocoa powder, and sugar and salt. Salt, sodium, where are you? 70 milligrams of sodium per two tablespoons. So I actually think that's um, significant in comparison to peanut butter because I think peanut butter has 90 milligrams of sodium per two tablespoons. Okay, maybe that's not significant. So, you know, Aaron's gonna be coming on this journey with me, but I think for him, he needs to do it in steps because you know how men like to eat carbs. Um, he cannot just full, go full blown into the paleo without eating some carbs along the way. So for him, we did pick up this uh, sun, what is this, sunflower seed rye bread. Never had this brand before. And it's quite a large slice. I think these are called like sandwich, sandwich bread in a sense. And yeah, it has a lot of sodium, 290 milligrams of sodium per one slice. Anyways, that's pretty much what he got. And then he also picked up these chicken and cheese burrito to try. This is interesting because that one we don't generally buy a lot of foods, frozen foods. So because I tend to I make a lot of things at home myself, and a, all the frozen stuff usually have a lot of salt. So I just refrain from it. So he wanted to try some of this stuff. It's, these things have 650 milligrams of sodium. He also bought steak and cheese burrito. So he bought two of each. And that's pretty much it for his uh, thing. I picked up some organic grape tomatoes. Uh, those are just tomatoes. I also went ahead and picked up some tea because I think tea is essential while you're doing this to have, you know, things that have a little bit of flavor but without having a lot of sugar. And I don't drink sugar in my tea anyways. And it's also getting you the extra bit of water. And it doesn't, none of these teas have caffeines. And it also makes you feel full when you drink more liquid. So I picked up this one. This is chamomile. And and that's a stash brand and I also picked up a peppermint uh, I think I probably should have went on this because I'm not <laughs> I didn't realize that I'm usually like a mint tea fan but not peppermint per se and I also picked up some skinny pop now I'm trying to yeah and it's gluten free yeah I didn't actually <laughs> I picked this up out of habit but I didn't look to see if it was gluten free but praise God thank you Jesus it's gluten free and these were 79 cents like it's 100 calorie per bag so you can only imagine there's probably like 100 kernel of popcorn in there not very much if you ask me and that is pretty much it and then the last thing is not a food item it is this Jason um body wash and it ha contains no parabens sodium sulfates etc etc and i do have one upstairs that i bought last week and i think we're all just going to start using this because we need to um just pay more attention to our skin charlotte's skin has been acting up quite a bit but i do think it's from uh swimming in the chlorine because she does have eczema and i took her to the doctors and they said it just it just gets heightened as a result of the protein of the protein as a result of the chlorine and she just needs to rinse it off and not maybe use a lot of soaps that have anything such as parabens and stuff like that so that's why i went ahead and just picked up more some another one of these and yeah that's pretty much it so i wanted to share a little bit of that with you when i do pick up the, the flower based things i will share that with you guys because i think it's gonna be a good start a new start because I've never really shared with you guys about my issues with the gluten, but like pizza, for instance, I eat pizza and it just leaves me feeling super bloated. And um, I guess, I mean, it is dough, but it's the gluten and all that stuff that I feel is bothering me. I haven't gone to get a formal gluten test by any means, but I'm pretty certain I have a gluten allergy. Hence why I also suffer from KP. And if you guys don't know that, that's called keratotis polaris when you're you know you've sometimes your your skin just kind of flares up or whatever so anyways long story short i need to stop talking um thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoy my little little mini haul <laughs> peace out Hi guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe subscribe subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>